Hello students, welcome back. In the previous video, we had seen what are the different advantages of computer. Also, we had covered what are the different disadvantages of using computer. Okay, so students, in this video, I am going to cover the next chapter of class 2 that is input and output devices. Okay, so students, you might have seen in your computer lab, okay, like there are different sets of devices which are connected in computer okay like we have monitor cpu keyboard okay printer next is ups so some basics parts you can say of a computer okay these are some things like monitor, CPU, keyboard, printer, UPS, etc., which are there in the system. Okay. Now we want to learn in this chapter, we will learn in this chapter how we can categorize all these devices. Okay. How we can separate all these sort of devices. So basically, all these devices will be categorized into two categories okay what are those that is one is input device and another is output device okay so what is that first one is input device input device okay so how we can define the input device so we can define it as the device which is used to provide the instructions instructions to perform certain task okay so what is input device the device which is used to provide some input okay or you can say instructions to perform certain task okay for an example like keyboard example keyboard okay also mouse okay joystick etc so what is input device the device which is used to provide the instructions to perform certain task to वैसे device जो कि किसी task को करने के लिए instructions pass करते हैं like suppose हम लोगों ने यहां mention किया है keyboard okay so हम लोग keyboard में क्या करते हैं we use to press some key okay keyboard में हमारे पास क्या आते हैं different keys होते हैं alphabets numbers okay to jo bhi hum logo ko enter karna hota hai whatever we want to enter we use to press the key to jaise hi hum log key ko press karte hain hamara kuch na kuch depending upon hum logo ne kya press kiya hai uske basis pe some sort of task function hota hai theek hai so aur keyboard kya hota hai keyboard kis se attach hota hai ye attach hota hai cpu se fine the next thing is mouse okay aap sabhi ne mouse dekha hoga theek hai so mouse jo hai ki ye bhi cpu se hi attach hota hai but it has two button mouse mein kitne button hote hain do okay and one scroller okay one jo hai ki scroll karne ke liye hum log ka button hota hai scroll button theek hai scroll button 
so basically what are the things we used to do we used to press the left button and right button of a mouse okay so that is clicked okay we used to click fine so how we used to click what kind of click will be there there can be two types of click in a mouse that is single click or double click so single click means when we press a mouse for a single time okay the button of a mouse for a single time it is known as a single click okay and double click means when we press the mouse button twice simultaneously okay means very soon so that is known as a double click and what is the use of this scroll so basically the use of this scroll is to move up and down okay so that is the task of a mouse the next thing is we do have joystick so basically this is a type of input device that is used to play games okay so students i hope from this you might have got the idea what are input devices okay how we can define the input device fine students now next we will see what is output device okay first see the definition of output device okay those device device which are used to get or display the result result are called are called output device okay for example monitor okay printer and speaker okay so students what is output device those device which are used to display or get the output okay so वैसे device computer के जो कि हमें output दिखाने के लिए या फिर प्राप्त करने के लिए use होते हैं उसे हम लोग output device कहते हैं for an example monitor monitor आप सभी ने देखा होगा it's like a TV okay जिस तरह से TV हमारा होता है उसी तरह से जो है कि monitor भी होता है and that is used to display okay ये display करने के लिए use होता है हमें screens में दिखाता है what are the tasks we are performing अगर हम लोग movie देख रहे हैं तो movie के pictures हमें show करते हैं right so all these are the some certain task of monitor now next thing is printer okay so suppose we have typed some document typed a letter okay हम लोगों ने एक letter type किया है that is in soft copy okay fine हमारे system में soft copy में available है but if we want to get that as a hard copy so what we will have to do we will have to print the letter so we are printing that letter and we are get, getting the printed file so in that way it is displaying the things in a hard copy okay so this is the use of printer fine now this speaker how it is output device the speaker suppose we are playing music okay we are watching movies so definitely there will be some audio clips okay audio will be there so we used to get all those audios from speaker with the help of a speaker we used to get those audio clips so this is the task of a speaker hence 
you can observe from here all these devices are giving us the output okay so that is the reason this is known as a output device all these are known as output device fine so you have got clear about idea about what are the input devices what are the output devices okay apart from all these all these of two we do have another type of device okay that is a storage device what is that storage device okay so students we will see what is storage device in computer okay so first of all we'll see the definition okay we'll see the definition of a storage device so the device the device which are used to store used to store the data okay the device which are used to store the data are called storage device okay storage device वैसे डिवाइस जो हम लोगों को हमारे डेटा को सेव करने के लिए फ्यूचर पर्पस के यूज करने के लिए स्टोर करने में हेल्प करता है वैसे डिवाइस को हम लोग क्या कहते हैं स्टोरेज डिवाइस सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइक पेन ड्राइव ओके पेन ड्राइव नेक्स्ट वन इज सी डी ओके हार्ड डिस्क हार्ड डिस्क ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन सी देर आर कपल ऑफ डिवाइसेस विच आर यूज टू स्टोर द डेटा ऑफ आवर्स ओके फॉर फ्यूचर रेफरेंस सो फर्स्ट वन इज पेन ड्राइव ओके you might have seen the pen drive in your home okay also in your computer lab too so those devices will help to store the files okay files like if you have saved something in ms word if you have saved something in powerpoint all those file you can store with the help of a pen drive also you can store movies songs etc next thing is cd okay what is the next thing cd so it stands for compact disc okay so we do have different sorts of capacities of cd so depending upon those capacity we use to store the information over there similarly in hard disk also we can store the all sort of information whatever we want to store for future reference okay so students i hope from all these you might have got clear idea about what are the input device in computer what are the output device in computer and what are the storage device in computer also we have seen what are the different examples of all those of devices okay so students i hope you might have got the clear idea about all this so if you have any doubt or any questions you can ask in the comment box okay so in the next video students we will meet again with a more lots of concept okay so once again thank you for watching this video